what's up back again with some more performance upgrades and what have you so this is the cylinder head that's going on the 224 that we all clearanced up last night uh, that's the one right there oh nope that's the wrong one I'm sorry That's the one on my, that's the one on the general. This is the one right here. Some big ass valves. And some people say these are garbage. That's bullshit because my daughter's bike has the same head. And that thing was a fucking animal until, you know, I blew it up. But that was my own dumb ass fault. Video about that a couple videos back. So we're going to port and polish this head. And I'm going to show you the best that I can because I'm not going to be able to get the camera in there. How to do it. Some nice big ass valves. Them bitches is coming out. Put them to the side. I got to get a set of these for my daughter's head. They're all nice and bent up. But I can get them through Go Power Sports. Matter of fact, I'm going to order them tonight. Kind of wish he got rockers like this because these are really nice. But you know, it is what it is. It's always something that can be upgraded later. All right, so let me get something I can point with, even though my finger points. Get some a little more light in here. My piece of shit snap on light. Alright, so this fucking lights in my way. Fuck this light. Come on, shut off. Let's use this light. No, nope, that light was on. Alright, whatever. All in here. These are all sharp edges on both sides. And the roof right here, this is real sharp too. In here, right here, and right here. Is that's what we're gonna focus on. All in here is really nice and clean. This ain't like a stock head. That's nice and clean, so we're good with that. If you're to run your finger in there, the edge is real sharp. That's what we're gonna focus on. Not necessarily opening this this up too much. We'll open it up a little bit, not much. Because that's not going to really make that much of a difference. Because this is where the turbulence is going to get caused. All in here. We're going to smooth all this shit out. And probably a little in here. We'll port match the intake to this. Uh, opening this up. If you open it too much, you can actually slow your velocity down it's kind of hard to explain I don't really how to explain it but you can actually screw it up by opening it up too much so like I said I just really focus on right here and here because this is where turbulence is going to get caused and same for the uh, exhaust side so let's get set up let's see what happens when i zoom in let's get set up and start now one of the biggest things too is even if you hit these the valve guides you're okay as long as you don't mess up inside now, let's get on camera first you hit the valve guides you're okay just not inside these valve seats around here that's what you got to stay away from all these this valve seat all in here so a lot i probably won't be going in through this way i'm going to try to go in through this way more but we'll see i'll probably go in through this way i can i'm pretty good at it so let's get set up here we got oh shit goddamn cable stuck 
we got our Dremel with the uh, like a little extension wand fucking thingy got my battery powered Dremel Let me zoom out here a little bit battery powered Dremel and I got these Portland and polishing uh, sanding discs I got a big ass kit from Harbor Freight right there it's pretty cheap I think it was 20 bucks even comes with a couple of these spare ones because sometimes you break them and we're going to be using the regular drill with them that's going to kind of be the final sanding whatever you want to call it or grinding and cutting is going to be primarily with the drug dremel i got a lot of fucking gas mm. I keep fucking burping all right so let's change this tip out I'm going to use this cutting tip that came with my battery power one. I bought it used and this tip came with it. This thing works pretty good. I wish I could find more. It's probably going to be a long, boring video, but it helps people figure out how to do this shit with regular ass tools. There we go. Try to get that out as much as you can. You don't want it in too far. You want to be able to get this in as far as you can. All right, that works. Let's get that out of the way. Get them over there. And we're probably going to start on the intake first. And I'm going to work my right way around the edge in here. I'm going to work my way around here and start knocking some of this down start knocking some of this down and over here and then we're going to go in with the sand, sanding discs and finish it up and clean it up. Let me see if I can get some light. Some more light. I'm old and blind. There we go. That'll help. kind of boring to look at it's like you're not seeing shit the way I'm doing it so we'll use the chest mount I'll put you in that so hopefully you can see a little more what the hell I'm doing here and how I'm working around in there
shit flying up my eyes. I don't want to go to the hospital. Let's put some glasses on. I hope you can see something with us. So you can actually learn something. But what I'm doing is. See how you got that sharp edge in there? Now them sharp edges are kind of going away. Over there. Filing them down. Why is it nice and bright off camera? But on camera you can't. It's fucking dark. But those sharp edges are going away. You ground them down with that grinding disc. Or whatever the fuck die or whatever. We took some right around in there. All in there. And we're going to come in here with a stone. And uh, we're going to get rid of this little edge. And kind of get rid of these uh, jagged edges. So, since I got this one already hooked up, we're going to take some out of the exhaust side too. Be real careful going in. Do, do not touch them valve seats here. You'll ruin the head. Let the Dremel cool off. This little cable gets hot as shit. Man, my light fell. All this damn light. Can't see shit. Alright, so. These fucking glasses, I can't see out of them. Get this fucking light over here. Camera's never in the right spot. 
So we knocked all that down in there. It's fairly smooth. Exhaust side also. We're going to go in with a stone now. And start smoothing this stuff out more. Especially like right in here. Right all around, all around in here. I got to go back in here. I'm going to knock some of this off a little bit. With that other. With the metal cutter. But all in here is nice. So I ain't even got to mess with none of that. Yeah. Alright let's do that real quick. Pull a little bit off with that. I don't want to take too much off. Don't want the uh, valve guide exposed. Alright, so now we're going to change out the tip. Take off the chest mount for a second. Come on. I'm running out of stones too. I need more stones. Oh man, this fucking thing always gets stuck. Always, always, always. These are real good for that. I'm running out of them though. Back in the annoying stand. I change the tip again. I broke it. Find some more. Where is the other shit at? Let's see. Man, I wish you'd have went and bought some more ends. Fuck. I don't have any more. I might have to do this the hard way. Shit. It's got a lot of aluminum on it, but you ain't got a choice. All 
I have to get more of these things. Thankfully, it's coming out quicker than I thought. Can't quite see it on camera, but let's get some light in there. Pretty shitty on camera, but all them edges are gone. See all them hard angles I was talking about? They're all gone. And we just gotta smooth out. There's, there's no more edge here. There's no more edge here, but we gotta smooth it out. And that's where these are gonna come in. I'm very happy with that. That feels nice. There's no hard edges. That's what you want. You want that air to be nice and slippery and slip right through there. Looking good. See, you won't even cut your finger on there no more. That's what you want. You want a nice rounded edge on there. So that air just slips out and that exhaust just slips. Well, the air slips in and the exhaust slips out. All right, so let's leave that to there for now. I'm going to pause for a second because I think I got a message from somebody. All right, we're back. Got to answer some messages real quick. I got a carburetor that needs tuning. So, oh, I got a funny story about that. So, somebody on Facebook had said, because a friend of mine bought 
a 24 millimeter millimeter Makuni for this build. And I'm not saying any names, but he had actually said that putting a bigger carburetor will not make you go faster. All it adds is volume and fuel economy, or no, throttle response and fuel economy. So apparently, this carburetor is no better than that carburetor. My 20-something years as a mechanic just got shot to pieces. I guess I'm doing this all wrong. Of course, I'm being facetious. Some crazy shit going on, man. Some crazy stuff. Alright, so we're going to take this next and we're going to clean the... Uh, we'll clean the head up. I'm going to leave you in the stand because... This drill's gonna do nothing but hit the damn camera anyhow. happened there damn tripod just decided to go fall Oh yeah, she's looking nice. Just gonna look at that roof a little more. Looking pretty good in there. She gonna flow nicely. And I hit the valve seat a little bit. But I always regrind the valves in anyhow. Just in case. We'll be okay there. I've done worse. It happens. It's looking good. Change out, do the other side, do the exhaust side.
my hand. Looking pretty good. And we see them ridges in there. It's the intake side. It's not bad to have them ridges in there. So what that's going to do is we'll get some of that out. But that's going to cause more turbulence too. And it actually mixes the fuel and the air together. But that's going to get cleaned up a little more too. But don't feel bad if that is not smooth. Because you don't want the intake polished. You want the exhaust polished. But realistically, even after you polish the exhaust, it ain't going to do nothing but get covered by soot. So it's not really critical. This isn't a 1,000 horsepower dragster or even a 500 horsepower dragster. The big thing is, is getting them edges out of there so that air flows nicer. It's looking pretty good. The exhaust is always a little harder because it's smaller. I'm going to try to get down. Oh, fuck this fucking light. This fucking light's worse than any... Does worse than any good. I'm going to try to get down in here a little more. It's a little bit of a ridge there. I'm going to try to get that in there and clean that up. <coughs> Let's put a new disc on. Got plenty of them. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. This is why I'm trying I'm trying to get it in frame. It's not really working out. Nothing is working out right now. I'm just gonna have to try to stay away from me and show you the progress as I do it. It's a little better, but I don't have any more stones. Actually, you know what? I forgot it. that still has a stone on it. Let me try to clean it up a little more with the Dremel. My OCD is kicking in. I, I, I want it the way I want it.
a lot better that will do roof's nice got a nice ramp to it nice smooth ramp nice alright now throw this thing in reverse I'll use the other end probably ain't gonna work out real too well but we're gonna do it anyhow Uh let's do the exhaust first. Yeah, it's not going to work out. Looking okay. Got some scrapes in there when I get out. Let's do a little on the uh, intake side. That roof's nice. It's all transitioning real nice in there. I wish I could get that better in there. Where my finger is, but I don't have any more stones. And that other one is clogged up with aluminum and doesn't seem to want to cut. But it's pretty smooth. So, that'll do. Alright, so... We're gonna clean this bitch up and lap these valves in. Let me show you how to do that properly and what to look for. Fucking light. It used to say a snap on light. I'm about to throw this light out of the fucking window. Throw that over there. Alright you back in here not too bad not too bad yeah we're not gonna go crazy in here or in here just did it a little bit because this is the key critical areas like I said these areas in here this intake came out real nice Especially on the roof up here. If you ever take a head off and put your finger up there, you're, you're going to know what I mean by that sharp edge. Now it's nice and smooth. It transmission transitions smooth. The exhaust side too. I would like to get in here a little better. But I don't have any more small stones. I got to get more. So let's clean this head up and lap the valves in. Let's go outside. Spray this shit in my house. I'm not that fucking nuts. Make sure you get down into them valve guides too. Ooh. We're 
we're gonna do this again after we uh lap the valves in just gotta get all that grinding compound out oh yeah she's real nice in there all right Uh, I'm going to pause for a second and clean this mess up. Alright, I'm going to vacuum that shit up. Got a nice clean head. Head. Valves. Let's see if I can find my grinding compound. God knows where I put that shit at. Right now. And our turnaround fucking dizzler dizzlator fucking thing all right let's start don't mind me i'm retarded just like every other fucking day get a nice heap around that shit All lubed up and jammer to fuck in. Oh, I got a piece of aluminum in my hand. On oh, your fucking jackass. Make sure the valve's clean. Make sure this is fucking clean. Stick it on there. What the fuck, man? I'm gonna put my hand down. It's a fucking piece of aluminum. Spin, lift, spin, lift. I'm gonna keep doing that to uh, get more shit back down into the seat. Not necessarily pushing down too much. See how the sound changes? I still got a piece of fucking aluminum in my hand. And it gets quieter like that, lift it up. Slap that shit around. Actually, I'd be better off in the damn stand. If this stand stays the fuck up. Oh my god. I can't fucking win. There you go. Broke our seal. Uh, of course the carburetor cleaners outside. Cause I'm a fucking idiot. There we go. Check it. If you ever buy a new head, always do this because you don't know if it really is seated to them guides. Or the valve seats very well. All right, probably ain't gonna pick this up on camera, but there's a nice gray edge all the way around. It's not shiny. There's a gray edge like that. It means it's contacting the seat when you clean it up. That's what you want. You know, this piece of shit camera won't focus. I think I damaged this camera by welding with, you know, recording while I'm welding. It is what it is, I guess. Same for the head. All around that top edge. There's a nice gray grinded edge. Which means it's good. 
It's really going to be hard to see this on camera. But this one's kind of, just kind of, you can kind of see it. Like, it only done, it's done a little bit. And this one's a lot thicker. The contact area. Thicker is not always better, though, but, you know, it is what it is. So let's do the exhaust valve next. Happy with the intake? Let's do the exhaust. stick and I need something to clean this off with hold on one second all right had to go get a can of shit Seen some people put a drill on this end and do it. You do it that, that way too, I guess. Uh, I was this is the way I was taught. Pop that bitch out. This motor should make a lot of top end power. It's a lot like the motor I built for my daughter's bike. Some differences, though. The lift ain't going to be quite as high, but it's going to have a lot more stroke. Valve looks good. There's a nice even gray mark around it. Same thing with the head, nice even gray mark around it, and we're looking good there. I'm going to take this thing outside and clean the shit out of it. That's pretty much it. It's not a whole lot to these heads. Just getting them edges getting all these edges the one up here and here and here and smoothing all them edges out especially on this intake side it's real nice nice big intake and let me check that real quick check the intake may have to port match that Not a whole lot. You gotta take some off this little edge right here. Other than that, she's pretty good. I take a little bit off this edge, a little bit off this edge, and a little bit off of there. And knock the fucking camera over again. Oh my god.
the idea behind this is getting rid of the edges so when the air flows in from the intake it's not hitting a dead spot like a flat spot it's hitting a nice smooth spot so we'll round these edges all off and we're gonna look down our intake I would show you but it's not like the fucking camera is good enough to see it anyhow the sides look good the side towards me can use some off <coughs> and the bottom it takes some more off the bottom right around there Interrupted by a stupid fucking call. My son's mother don't want to take care of his fish anymore. But wants to get him lizards. Like, are you fucking retarded? God damn, I can't stand people. crooked camera all right we're all nice and matched up now these edges are right here what the hell this fucking thing this fucking camera is just doing a suicide jump fucking camera god damn all right so i could probably take some of this off some edges off the intake too intake's actually pretty yeah i'm probably gonna take some off of that i'm gonna do that off camera because this fucking camera keeps falling off but she's opened up a little more looking good and that's gonna be it for this one this applies to small block big block 196 i actually have a 196 head poured it and polished around here somewhere but this applies to all of them just take your time watch you don't hit the valve seats it happens though you just hopefully it doesn't it's not bad you can use some valve kind and compound and fix it knock all them edges off in there and you're good to go clean it up uh next video hopefully we'll be assembling this pig all right fuckers thanks for watching